My name is Jade and I'm 19 years old. I was born in Houston, Texas, but I moved to Atlanta, Georgia when I was seven. So this is what I call home because I've been here forever. And I'm a singer, songwriter, dancer, and a rapper. And I write all of my own music and I love hip hop and jazz music. I would describe it as being jazzy, but more contemporary, and um, I love indie and jazz singers, and I love old school hip hop, so that's where my inspiration comes from. Well, when I was growing up, when I was two, I was already in competitive gymnastics. When I was five, I was competitive dancing, and I've always done competitive cheerleading, so I did that forever. And I'd always loved singing, but it was more of a hobby because I didn't exactly know um, how to take it on as a career until I got older. And when I was in ninth grade, we found Jan Smith Studios, and I started taking vocal lessons there and doing artist development, so they helped me shape my career. And it came to a point in high school when I had to when I made the choice for myself and I quit the number two world winning team so I could pursue my career as a musician. My favorite part about being an artist is definitely performing because there's no other feeling like there is when you're on stage and everyone's up looking at you and you get to do what you love. It's like a show off. It's like you're showing off in front of everyone and you get to show everyone what you've worked so hard doing behind closed doors. Then you get to get up on stage and all the attention's on you. I'm a package artist because I can sing, I can dance, I rap, I'm a songwriter, and everything that I do in any projects um, that I take on, I'm always involved in every aspect of it because I take pride in knowing how to do everything myself because you have to depend on yourself before you can depend on anyone. So. I've learned how to do everything and I'm continued, I've continued learning how to do everything, so that's exciting. I love being a young artist because right now is a time where solo artists are coming up, coming back again and bringing back an old school vibe and the young artists are taking over. They're coming up and they're coming, they're coming hard full force, so. It's exciting because you get to make a voice for yourself and you get to be creative. And when you're young, you can do anything crazy for attention and people are always looking for that, so. All my inspiration for my writing comes from relationships, really. Not, not even necessarily um, like dating, but just relationships that you have with anyone. And I always, I write about everything that I'm going through. I'm always writing. My celebrity crush is Chris Brown. I love him. I love him for everything he does as a person. He's an incredible dancer and he's passionate in everything that he does. My artists who inspire my creativity are artists who set themselves apart from the beginning and most of the time they were outcasted at the beginning of their careers but that's what makes them so unique because they already knew that they were going against everyone else and being watched and they're just incredible think they're just incredible people like Kanye West and Lady Gaga uh, Tyler the Creator and all of Odd Future they don't go by any rules they make their own I love jazz singers Amy Winehouse, Pixie Lot um, and other artists from the UK like Jessie J and singers like that. My birthday is on leap year actually, so I've only had four real birthdays ever, but, um, but I like it because it makes the real one special. And I'm half black and half Mexican. My dad is black and my mom is Mexican and I know how to speak fluent Spanish. I learned to speak English and Spanish at the same time, so 
Yeah. On the weekend, I have the most time um, to get work done and because I'm a college student and um, I feel like music is like working out, that you have to be consistent with it and you're only gonna get better and if you start to shy away from recording or from doing whatever it is that caters to your career, you're, you're, it's like you're, hurting, you're only hurting yourself and there's so in a place where so many people want it, you have to work harder than everyone and some. So that's important to me. My favorite places to shop are um, American Apparel, Urban Outfitters, Forever 21, simple places that don't have like a lot of little labels on them and stuff. Just I like to keep it classic and I like boy. I love boys' clothes, so I always still close for my dad. <laughs> for fun, I like to hang out with my friends. I'm not. I don't really like to go out that much. I'm. I'm really a homebody, and I'm in college, so I don't really like to go go out much because I'm usually tired. But I love just hanging out with my friends. Everyone's always at my house. We always have tons of people at my house. You can find me um, on Facebook, just search my name, and um, a like page will come up, my personal page will come up, and YouTube videos will come up in the search. And you can find me on YouTube. Um, our channel is called, my channel is called Jadkin Music, and you can find me on Twitter at Jade of Jadkin, and, or you can just Google search my name, and it'll bring up a lot of different links and places or picture galleries. Um, I would just like to thank them for all their support. Everything that you've ever said has not gone unseen and um, I'm a very approachable person and if you ever see me feel free to come up and talk. I would love to and um, everything that you've ever said and all your support, it means a lot to me. It, it's what keeps me motivated because without fans you go unnoticed. They make, they make you so thank you. No matter what the case is, no matter how talented you are, if you're not constantly working, somebody out there is outworking you. So that's my motivation because this is what I love to do. And you should definitely be on the lookout because I'm always coming. I'm always doing something more. I'm always working. Even when I'm tired, about to fall asleep, I'm still going strong. Six o'clock in the morning, doesn't matter. So um, anything that you love to do, you can absolutely do. You just have to believe in yourself more than anybody. And when people put you down, you just have to use that as motivation and just turn that into power. Because that's everything that I do, especially in a place like Atlanta where it's difficult to differentiate yourself from other artists since there are so many people. But just continue striving and loving what you do and it will take you there if you really believe in it. So thank you for this interview and thank you.